Hi, I'm Kevin from Going Batty, and we've got some chores to do on the Going Batty homestead today. So we started building this uh, compost pile the minute that we got here. And uh, now that we've got lots of stuff in there, we haven't stirred it a whole lot. So we're gonna take a second to stir it up. It's always easier when you have the right tools, but all I have is a shovel. I prefer a pitchfork. It makes it way easier to turn, but our pitchfork's MIA, so we're gonna make we're gonna make do with this. It should work. So this is our compost can that we get from the kitchen. Anything that's biodegradable goes inside there, including used coffee, eggshells, and coffee grounds, even an apple in there. Anything that's green, we put into that. This compost pile is gonna love that. You guys know how I like my coffee. Check this out. So the other thing that's really gonna help our compost pile is right under here. It's our rabbit poop. We're gonna put some of that on there too for the winter. idea I'm gonna try so this is a homemade cage and I have an idea I'm gonna try we we're gonna try to put a little roof on it we've got doors on the side over here and a door over here and I think maybe for the winter time we need to have something stronger on top than than just this so I'm gonna try something so now it has a little roof on top of it so when that snow comes if it comes 
they've got a little more protection. Should work good. You always have to keep security in mind when uh, when you own a home. And one of the problems we had is when we first got here, uh, two of our kids' bikes got stolen, and uh, they came through this gate. And there was no, there's no way for us to know. They were real quiet. They came into the backyard. They were behind the tree, and they came and took our bikes. So this is our burglar alarm. It's our homestead cowbell. It acts as our alarm for anybody that's trying to get in our backyard. The other thing that we did back here is we put a light in, and this is an old lamp. We just put a new light bulb in. Gives it plenty of light so we can always look out our windows and see who's back here if we hear a noise. And this particular corner was gathering water terrible and it was leaking down into the soil and eventually eroding our foundation. And so uh, as you can see, some of the concrete is broken away right here because water was gathering there into a big pile of dirt. And so Max, Jack and Miles dug a trench and Katie too just along this fence line so that the water will flow from here down into the soil. And it kind of creates a natural irrigation system for us. Um, and it keeps the, uh, the water away from the house, which is essential. So we don't ruin any more of our concrete. Water control is essential and we have to control the water that's around our house and push it away. I don't know if you guys can see all the green coming out of this brown. That's our, uh, that's our uh, um, garlic. And it gets a little covered up, I'm trying to keep it good for the winter. I'm not sure how many, I'm not sure how many leaves to put in there. Should I let the green stuff hang out? Or should I cover all of the green stuff with uh, the leaves? So. Right now, we're just going to let it get some sun today and get some of these leaves back. Um, maybe even get some coffee on here later to give it some give it some life. But to get these leaves from rotting, I think we need to have them out of the soil. Uh, that's our biggest fear is we're afraid they're going to rot. thing here looks like we've got some radishes that never took we've got some that might it looks like they might be uh, trying to grow into some pretty tough soil I'm not sure that those are gonna come out okay but we're gonna leave them uncovered and see how they do see if something happens with them I think we've got some kale hiding in there. yeah I just think we made a mistake by putting those leaves on top of it because it made our kale and our plants start to rot. I'm gonna pull them off and uh, we're gonna see if they can survive. I know, there's lots of little critters around here that are gonna wanna eat on them. Well, it's a nice windy day, I'll tell you what. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for walking through my uh, chores with me and uh, some of my little projects. Guys, I'm so excited about what God's doing on our channel and in our community. Uh, bless you guys praying that all is going well thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment check us out on facebook more updates as we go